exponential functions. Part three, how we solve inequalities with exponential function. First, if we have e a less than or equal to e b, then a less than or equal to b, and every positive number x can be written as e ln x. Solving inequalities with exponential. First, we must transform the inequality into the form e a less than or equal to e b, then a is less than or equal to b. For example, e to x plus 5 greater than e x plus 1. This inequality has the form e a greater than e b, then a greater than b. That is 2 x plus 5 greater than x plus 1. So x is greater than minus 4. So the solution of this inequality is from minus 4 till plus infinity. Example. e minus x plus 2 greater than 5. In the right hand side, we don't have exponential. So we must write 5 in terms of exponential. 5 is equal to e ln 5. Then minus x plus 2 is greater than ln 5. So x is less than 2 minus ln 5. So the solution is from minus infinity till 2 minus ln 5. Other example e x less than or equal to 3. Instead of a 3, we put e ln 3. So x less than or equal to 3 ln 3. So the solution is from minus infinity till ln 3. e minus x plus 3 less than or equal to 1. Instead of 1, we write e power 0. So minus x plus 3 less than or equal to 0. So x greater than or equal to 3. So the solution is from 3 till plus infinity. Another example, e x squared plus 3x less than e power 4. So x squared plus 3x less than 4. That is x squared plus 3x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. Uh, here we have power 2 and inequality. So we must use the sign table. First, we find the roots of the quadratic function x squared plus 3x minus 4, which are minus 4 and 1. Putting the sign table, we get same, opposite, same. So the solution is between minus 4 and 1. Special cases. Solve e x minus 3 less than minus 2. e x minus 3 less than minus 2. We know that the exponential function is always positive. So this exponential function cannot be less than minus 2. So here we don't have any solution impossible since the exponential is always positive. While if we want to solve the same function e x minus 3 greater than minus 2, this inequality is always true because always the exponential is positive and the positive is always greater than the negative. So, so this solution is always true. So x belongs to minus infinity plus infinity. If we want to interpret these results graphically, I draw the graph of e x minus 3. It is clear that this graph is always above minus 2. So e x minus 3 less than minus 2 is impossible because the graph of this function is always above y equals to minus 2. Solve e2x minus 3 less than 0. Always this equation is impossible because the exponential is positive and it cannot be less than 0. While if we want to solve the same function greater than 0, it is always true. So the solution is R. Graphically, I draw the graph of e2x minus 3. It is always above y equal to 0, which is the x-axis.